guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Frank, and we're going on a field trip. So a few months ago, before I had ever started packing my house up in England, epax 3D reached out to me on Instagram asking if I wanted to test out one of their products, specifically the X156 resin 3D printer. A few months went by, got back to the States here, and I hit them up and I said, hey, are you guys still willing to do this? They gave me their address and it turns out they're within driving distance of where I live now. Once we found out, I could actually go and just visit there. I got to go pick it up, get a little tour of their office workspace. They gave me an awesome explanation of Chittubox, uh, the slicing program and how resin 3D printing works. And though resin printing and FDM 3D printing share a lot of similar names and terminology, they are so astronomically different in how they work. It is incredible. And it was great to go there and learn how this other so the other side of the coin kind of works and operates. This is a pretty different video. Obviously, we we're always in the maker space and work areas, but we get to go see like, you know, a 3D printing company. Let's check it out. So now we're uh, back in time. I'm on my way to uh, Epax 3D's um, office or factory or warehouse. I'm not actually positive what address they gave me, but uh, I'm really excited about it. Got a little bit of a drive ahead of me, but being back stateside, this is, it's cool. I get to go, you know, visit places like this now and um, dealing with a US based 3D printing company, uh, just it's been it's been a really cool experience. Now I had this big old grand plan of how I wanted this all filmed in my head on my way there and they were kind enough to let me film, you know, in the office space and that was fantastic. Though it didn't quite go according to plan. There's things they talked about I wish I had filmed, but I'll do my best to kind of fill in the blanks. So the build plate comes pre-leveled, uh, so you don't really need to do anything with that. You're just gonna, just gonna get it like it, slide it right in, and it's ready. The vat already has the uh, NFEP film pre-installed, so that will you can just pull that out of your styrofoam, slide that in, and that's ready to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, all yeah. I'm waiting for the and but. I'm like, oh, and then but you need to do this. <laughs> no, no, really, all you got to do at that point is um, just, we usually have everybody test the screen just to make sure it didn't get damaged or anything during shipping. We well, can run a quick test on here and I'll show you that out in the lab area because this one does not have power to it. Um, but once you do that, you pour your resin in, slide the USB in, select your file, and hit print, and it's ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's fairly, Pretty easy. fairly yeah. simple. That's uh, so not a whole lot to it. Okay, okay. So I wanted to take a quick minute to explain to you guys what resin printing is. Now, you guys are probably at this point familiar with normal FDM 3D printing like I was. I think I'm pretty versed in that and understand it. It takes a hot nozzle, like a hot glue gun, and it puts it on a build surface and builds it up in one layer, moves up, builds up another layer, blah, 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 blah. Um, think of like, you know, building a pyramid, you stack it on top of each other. The way resin printing works is insanely different and I think so much cooler. Now I'll give this, this is a quick summation, then we'll get back to the video. But you have a vat of resin. This is actually the vat from the E10 and I'm gonna call it the X10 in the video, my bad. But a pool of resin sits here, you pour it in, okay? Awesome. Now you can see through the bottom of this, right? Underneath here is a UV light and that is shining through. Now it would be shining through the whole time if there wasn't an LCD screen in the way. You have the light shining through, but the light can't get through because that LCD screen is completely black. Now imagine if that LCD screen let a circle appear, just a circle, solid, you know, kind of looks like this. That's all the UV light that can get through. Now you have the vat of resin sitting there and then you have your build plate come into the vat of resin. And it doesn't touch the plastic, but it, it hangs a millimeter or, you know, half a millimeter away. We'll flip this over so you kind of get the picture. Now this build plate is a certain distance away from that UV, um, that, that, resin, that resin and the light and everything. So a very thin layer of resin can pour between the build plate and the UV light. And as that UV light cures, that circle that's now being allowed through, it hardens onto the build plate. So then the resin printer lifts up a little bit, breaks the, the contact to the, the screen that's here, and lowers back down. But now it's a little bit higher, so more resin can pour in between the distance. And then it cures it again, lifts up, comes back down. 
cures it again, and it rinses and repeats. As it does this, it starts to build layers. Now, resin th printing layers are so much smaller than FDM layers. That's why they look so much cleaner and neater. In a nutshell, that's how resin printing works. It is just flashing the light and letting a predetermined amount of UV light through, flashing the resin, lifting it up on this build surface, and it just rinses and repeats. That's why you can make these really tall, big prints out of a vat of resin that's not even a half of an inch deep. Crazy, right? Let's get back to the video. So, underneath the screen, there's a parallel light source, basically. A lot of UV LEDs that shine up at the screen. The screen just creates the image. So this is a screen for the X133. This is a 13.3 inch mono screen. Um, you can see here, this glass is just tempered glass that is used to add thickness to the polarizer, basically. This top layer, this black layer at the very top, that is what's masking the image. It's what's creating the image that cures the resin in this the back. This is the connector. Yep. And this is the PCB board that connects to your screen cable right, right here, which goes down to the graphics driver inside the machine and creates that image. The higher the resolution of the screen, the, the more detail that you can get out of the print. So that's why everybody's pushing to get these, you know, 6K, 8K <laughs> and, and higher, you know, and they're coming out really rapidly. We're already looking at 8K screens. December, we were pushing brand new 4K machines out. And that was like the rage in the community. It was everybody, all the companies were trying to get these 4K screens. And now it's not even halfway through the summer and we're talking about 8K and, and above. One of the things I love about the Ecax machines the most is that they're upgradable. We make all the machines upgradable. So you don't have to buy a whole new machine when that that's new screen that comes out that's, or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's the OG right there. That's the original machine that first started it all for ESAX. This, this is it? Yep. And it's been upgraded and upgraded and upgraded ever since. This little guy can print the most detailed prints you'll ever see in your life. So I just got done, uh, that's it, we're in the car. <laughs> and they gave me um, a, 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 an X156, and they also gave me um, an X10, which is the size below it, but still an awesome resin printer. Um, that was such a fun experience, like being with the people making these and designing these things and you know the team behind it. Um, so that was uh, definitely one of the cool, coolest little experiences I've ever had. Okay, so I got them unloaded, we're back in the garage. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's get them unboxed. Here it is, guys, the X156. Oh wait, no, that's the X10. That's the X156. Oh my lord. <laughs> it, this thing is massive. I was gonna try to put it on the end of the counter, but it weighs like 120 pounds, so it's staying on the floor on the foam for now. I'm gonna get them running and um, You'll see videos about some resin prints coming up soon here. So that just about wraps it up for this video, guys. It's been a couple days or like actually a week or so since I've gotten the printers. I already have some pretty good resin prints under my belt. And I also have some failures, which kind of sucks. But hey, what are you going to do? Thank you again, Epax, for giving me these printers and letting me play around with them. And this, this like absolutely changes the game for me. And I can't wait to bring more videos to you guys about resin printing. I myself am still learning. Like I said, I, I had a failure yesterday and you know, that's gonna happen. So as I learn and understand more, I'll be able to kind of help you guys and maybe walk you through and teach you some stuff that I've learned. I do also hope to make some review videos about the 156 and the E10 eventually when I have a much better understanding about them, but there really isn't much to them in terms of like unboxing and testing. It's just a bunch of foam, you take them out, turn them on, 
They just kind of work apparently. All my failures have been my fault at this point. Epax has already given me some discount codes for like E10s and some other things. So as I get them and receive them, I'll put them in the links down below and I'll always let you guys know if there's any sales or deals going on. So make sure you're checking out my Instagram for that. And if you're interested in either the X156 or the E10, I've linked both of them specifically down below. And again, if any discount codes ever pop up, I'll do my best to include them right next to them. That does it for this video, guys. Again, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you, Epax, so much again for this. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good day.